Welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Card News of the Week. Pokemon 151 comes out later this week. There's a lot of videos coming your way. Will the West ever get a release of Pokemon 151? Also, we got the full card list, and there's a lot of great art rares and super art rares. Which ones do you think we can get? It's all here and more in Pokemon Card News of the Week. everyone, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Card News of the Week. My name is Bob and I'm your anchor tonight. Tonight we're basically going to be looking at Pokemon 151. This is the brand new card set that is being released in Japan next week. That's right, this set is going to be released on June 16th at midnight. And that means that a lot of convenience stores are going to be releasing it very early. We are extremely lucky. We got, drumroll, a second reservation. Woo! Oh my god, I can't believe we got a second reservation. So now that we have two boxes, we have guaranteed shorts and a guaranteed full unboxing for you guys on the channel. So the biggest piece of news that happened this week was we got the full card release for Pokemon 151. Basically, we now know every single card that is going to be releasing in this set. And there is a lot of good stuff. Basically, there's a ton of EX cards. I think in total there are 12. So I'll try and put some of them up here. But we have every single Pokemon from the original release of Pokemon. And that is so cool. I cannot wait. And I am going to have such a nostalgia trip opening up these cards. But some of the coolest stuff that came out were some of the art rare announcements and some of the super art rare announcements. And oh my god, they are absolute fire. First of all, we have this amazing Snorlax card. This Snorlax looks adorable. It is so cute. And I just love how it's sleeping there. And just, oh my, it just, there's so much to unpack in that card. It is stunning. We also have an amazing Poliwell card. And Poliwell, for me, was actually quite a nostalgic Pokemon. I had so many of that card when I first got into Pokemon cards originally. It is, well, as soon as it got announced, I was kind of, oh my god, I have to get this too. But we also have a Psyduck, and this Psyduck is also very cute. So I'm hoping that we can get all of those art rares and more. There are also more art rares, like we've talked about before, with Omanite, praise be to Helix, and all the other art rares and so on. But today, we got the announcement of four, four amazing super art rares. First of all, there was a leak of the Zapdos super art rare. This card is ridiculously beautiful. Just looking at Zapdos, Articuna, and Moltres, this brings back some crazy Pokemon 2000 vibes. And like Pokemon, are just this is insane. And I have got to get this. If I could pull any card from the set, I kind of want this one. But we also had the announcement for all of the starter art rares and super art rares. So we have Charmander, we have Charmeleon, and we have Charizard. And what's interesting is a lot of people on Twitter are not very happy with this Charizard. They wanted something cooler and bigger looking. And I'm not complaining. I kind of like this because I think this might be the first time we have a Charizard where the value is not going to skyrocket because people love that Pokemon. My favorite announcement is the Squirtle card. This Squirtle is beyond cute and it is so, so stunning. There is also the War Turtle and the Blastoise. I think they have done a very, very good job with these three cards. And the kind of theme, the story, looks stunning. I can totally understand why they've released that three space card, like, holder. That card, uh, what do you call it? The card stand. Because these three cards alone are going to fit beautifully. And, of course, we have Bulbasaur looking very, very cute too. We have Ivasaur looking not so cute, not as cute as Bulbasaur. And we have Venusaur. Now, the interesting part is all of the final evolutions for these starter lines, they are super art rares. And the hard part is that there is no confirmation that there is a guarantee of a super art rare in any box. Some of you may or may not know, but Japanese boxes have a guarantee of a super rare or above. Only one. At least one. We have had an error box before where we have got two, which was kind of crazy. But there is only real one, like only really one chance. And with two boxes, that really limits our chances of getting any super art rares. Basically, I want this Zapdos. Oh, I'm getting a feed from our reporter, Bob, who's out in the field right now. I think he has a live report on something that is being announced right now. So uh, we're going to put you over to him. Bob, you're live on the screen. That's right, Bob. We just got the official release for Pokemon 151 coming out in the West. It's coming out on September 22nd. Let's quickly check with a random guy on the street to see what he thinks. Sir, what do you think about this Pokemon 151 coming out in the West? Hello. Every Nyan, 
That's right. Okay, back to you, Bob, in the studio. Okay, thank you, Bob. I don't know who that guy was that Bob was with there, but there you have it. Basically, we have the official announcement of Pokemon 151 coming out in the West. The official release date is going to be September 22nd. I don't know when pre-orders go up, but I'm going to be assuming that they will go up very, very soon. So stay tuned and keep an eye out on the Pokemon Center website so you can get your pre-order ASAP. Now, keeping on the theme of English cards, we also have some announcements of Obsidian Flames cards. So there is a Clefer, there is a Palafin, there is a Mawile, and there is also a Togekiss promo card that has been announced. So what this means is that they're probably going to have a few promo tins where you can get one or two of these cards with a few random packs inside. Probably a few from Sh Sword and Shield and probably a few from the Obsidian Flame set itself. But what this means is that for the Japanese set, we're probably also going to get these cards as well. The most interesting thing that I think is kind of crazy about these cards is Clefer returning. But does that mean we're going to have things like Smoochum and Igglybuff returning? Does this mean a return to baby Pokemon cards? That would be amazing. Oh my god, that would be so cool. We have not seen baby Pokemon cards in a long time. So I'm very interested to see where this goes and to see if we get more of these. Now the final piece of news related to Western cards, we had an announcement of three more promo cards. There is a Meowskerada card, there is a Quackaval card, and there is a Skeledurge card. And what's interesting is that these three cards, they have a different design from the cards that we've already got in Japan. So I'm assuming that these are going to be some of the release cards in the Japanese set, Shiny Treasure. Shiny Treasure is set to release in Japan in December 2023. So this is going to be our high class pack for this year. High class packs, basically they have like 10 or 11 cards in them and they're just kind of re-releases of older cards. But these designs look cool and I like the slight difference that they have with the original releases that came out in Triple B. So these are very, very exciting announcements. And to finish off this video, we're going to have our card of the week. This week, we're looking at the Lugia V secret rare card that released in Paradigm Trigger. In the West, this release, I believe, in Silver Tempest. This card is beautiful. And if you haven't seen it, I opened actually a mystery box where I pulled this card and I cried slightly. It was a very emotional time and I was extremely happy to get this card. The art is very, very pretty and it's kind of powerful. It brings back vibes to the Pokemon 2000 movie. Oh my God, I love this card. But guys, that is pretty much everything for Pokemon card news of this week. This is Bob coming to you with some urgent news. I have just got back from a day out with my friend and I realized that there are a couple of announcements today. Oh my God, it has been a ridiculously busy week. So I'm just gonna put a few quick additional things to this video here. There's nothing really special in the background. I just got home. First of all, they announced officially the release of Obsidian Flames in Japanese. This is the Kokuen, what was it? Kokuen no Shihaisha. So this is simply the Black Flame set in English. And this, I think, is going to change the Pokemon card game quite a bit. Basically, this is the first time they're introducing terrestrialized Pokemon with different types. And I think this is going to shake up the entire game. The Charizard is a dark type. That is so cool. The Ice Q is a different type. Everything is different types. This Tyranitar is electric type. This is going to be so cool. And it's kind of a good like throwback to when they had different typings for different Pokemon. So I'm very interested to see where they go with this. And finally, we had two super rare announcements. We had the Giovanni card, which looks super, super cool. And we also had the Erica card, which looks beautiful. These are very, very pretty cards. But the amazing card that they just announced is this Mew Super Art Rare. This was not announced yesterday, so I didn't have a chance to talk about it. This is beyond beautiful. And I really, really want to get this card. Okay, guys, that is pretty much everything for Pokemon card news of the week. Basically, a lot of stuff is coming for Pokemon 151 later this week. So this week, I might not actually do a news video because I'm going to be quite busy filming actually opening cards. So please stay tuned on June 16th. So the Friday coming next week, I'm going to open up a full box on the channel. I hope that we can pull some absolute magic, some absolute fire. So stay tuned for that. In addition, I am going to be opening up the card file sets. I got a couple of reservations of both. The one with the kind of like Charizard, Venusaur and Squirtle on it and the Pokeball one. So those have five packets each in them. We might get more stuff there. There is a lot of content coming your way. So stay tuned. See you next time in the next episode of Pokemon Card News of the Week. Yeah, I'm extremely excited for next week. I cannot wait. There is going to be so much cool stuff coming your way. It's kind of crazy. So stay tuned, everyone. I am super, super excited. See you then.